Hi guys, it's Dr. Veronica Vox, and today we are talking about GERD and H. pylori. Peter, my subscriber, asked me a question. How would I decide that my acid reflex comes from it's just acid reflex or comes from H. pylori, especially when I have a lot of digestive complaints. The answer is true answer. Peter, you, we cannot decide if this GERD is due to this H. pylori or not. You have to do the testing. Then Peter writes to me, doctors don't even bother to diagnose. They just give PPIs. Answer to that, Peter, is what else do they have? Nothing. That's why they give PPIs. Two important pieces of information to keep in mind, Peter, here it is, diagnosing H. pylori, we do blood, breast, stool, or endoscopy test. The second piece of information came from the Mayo Clinic. Turns out that about every other person in the world is infected by H. pylori. Now, when you put those two slides together, Peter, here is what you see. If people come to doctors with digestive complaints, Okay, and acid reflex or acid reflex and digestive. If you do diagnose H. pylori by any of those means, means that every second person will be diagnosed with H. pylori. Now, here is the real question becomes, what we are going to do for all of those patients? Here is my example from my own practice. Patient came to me. She was diagnosed five years ago with GERD and H. pylori on gastroscopy because she had a clinical presentation and the treatment is standard antibiotic plus PPI and peptobismol. Then later, two years later, she has again clinical presentation, goes and does gastroscopy. Again, H. pylori is sure enough, the standard treatment is available. A year later, she again has complaints and does gastroscopy and GERD and H. pylori confirmed. Both she and gastroenterologist decided that it's time to go to Dr. Wax. So, what are I supposed to do with those patients? Peter, it's a million dollar question. Here is the answer. First, and sure enough, I send all of this, patient, this kind of patients to gastroenterologist to do gastroscopy that I don't miss gastric ulcer, bleeding, or cancer. And then I treat them symptomatically. I put them on blended diet. Anti-inflammatory is usually DGL. Okra and slippery elm in the, is demulcent. Oregon is antibiotic-like herb. I give them pancreatic enzymes, excellent probiotic and glutamine to restore the lining of digestive tract. This is the answer to you how I treat those kind of patients that have numerous digestive complaints, maybe due to H. pylori plus acid reflux. Hey guys, I decided to start start coaching sessions. Feel free to contact me here. And if you have any questions, please ask here.